Uh, next thing I want to do is your feedback from the PTR, though. Yes, let's go into that because it's fun, fun, fun. So the first thing, we have a tweet yep. from Warcraft devs earlier today saying, we have a known bug where bonus XP that's shown as a quest reward is being miscalculated and that this is causing Torghast XP to be lower than intended and they're working on a fix. That's and that's good. good because Dakor just put that in there because that's very relevant to your feedback. It is exactly relevant. So so I tried to uh, level in Torghast because I have a, uh, I had a 48 shaman over on Horde side yeah. who uh, was, uh, you know, I first I tried to, okay, can I skip the mod intro at 48? Because at 48, you can do it, which is, you know, standard Stop, stuff yeah. starting to two levels earlier. And then I was like, okay, let's see. Let's, this is going to be, this is going to be great. Going to hop into Torghast. Let's see how it, all, how it all works. Record some footage if we need it. And uh, one hour later, I have 25% XP. Uh -oh. I am now 25% closer to the next level than I was before. And that is quite, <laughs> that's not very much for one hour of solid gameplay. I mean, you might be laughing, go, well, how did you take like, you know, how'd you take one hour to do two wings of Torghast? Because they are fully using the current Torghast system, which means, you know, outside of the layer selection, you actually go in through the Wayfinder, not the actual existing portals in the thing. So it, you know, rotates that way. But it is a timed run in the sense the current stuff is. You will get tower knowledge at the end of it. So you are incentivized to do everything properly. I mean, obviously for leveling, you might want to speed run, but <laughs> about just over 10% of it came from the quest completion part. So obviously if that's uh, substantially lower than intended, then it could be going up. But the actual amount of experience you get from killing a mob is genuinely pitiful. Okay. I mean, it's pitiful across the game in general, but the vast majority of the time you're working towards a quest when you're killing mobs, you know, obviously like the, the current way to level in game is to kill only the bare minimum for quests unless they're rares. Yeah. And it was honestly just brutally, brutally slow. So if we're to assume then that what Warcraft devs have tweeted here, because yeah. this is a known bug where bonus XP shown as a quest reward. Yeah. So this just means that this is about the daily quest for Torghast. Now, yeah. for somebody who wants to do loads of Torghast runs yeah. in a day in order to level up, this means nothing. This does not mean as great a deal. Yeah. Like, you know, if you get half a level of XP for your daily, I think for a lot of people, I'll be like, oh, cool, you know, go, go do a Torghast run, get half a level, also something from being the wing. Yeah. Good. Happy, happy. Yeah, well, that's... That, a lot of people yeah. want to do more. That's the thing, because uh, the, the idea that it's, they're saying lower than intended kind of makes me think, it's, you know, maybe 20% instead of 10%, mm -hmm. maybe 30, which is still a bit low, I think, for doing two Torghast runs, especially when you compare how much doing two Torghast runs at max level is worth. That's your full week of stuff. Yeah. If you do them correctly at the highest level, that is all your legendary progress, which you don't get. You get Soul Ash. You get a small amount of Soul Ash. You get 100, 150, 180 per boss, and then 150, 180 for the completion which is kind of small compared to what you need, but it is, you know, better than nothing. Yeah, like Mephisto here got a flawless run. Yep, same. And yeah, that, that netted him less than two bars of XP for 19 minutes, uh, 180 Soul Ash and 16 Tower Knowledge. Yep, that is uh, the exact same as I got. My run took a little longer because I'm not Tess Mephisto, the, 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 the World of Warcraft speedrun king, but, um, you know, it's, it's so close to being good, right? because I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Doing it as an Enhancement Shaman, which is maybe not the best spec uh, overall to take into Torghast or even, you know, gameplay as in general, especially before 50 when you don't have your last talent. It's a bit, a bit grim. But I had so much more fun than doing anything else in Threads of Fate because Torghast is where your vaguely challenged forms of gameplay. Mm -hmm. And you can also, like, you know, depending on how many animal parts you skip, you can kind of fine-tune the difficulty yourself but it was so much more engaging than anything else. Because obviously, you know, with dungeon content is you will be doing your full DPS rotation. You will be trying to like get as much yeah. out of it as possible, but still not difficult, especially because you're doing them at normal at that point. So there's no mechanics to threaten you. Whereas I did die a couple of times because I, you know, wasn't paying attention. It was half seven in the morning and I got hit by a massive strike. I was like, ah, stupid. But it was basically the best way to level the currently existing World of Warcraft. But the way they designed it, you're incentivized to do two runs per day 
and that's it. Two runs, do yeah. one of each wing. Yeah, so there's two there's two available wings, and then the quest is for finishing two. Ah, so you yeah. do two runs a day, and then, you know, you get ten percent of a level for your two runs from a mob XP, and then whatever the quest reward will be bumped up to is like, oh, here's your you know, here's some of it. But if you want to continue leveling that day, you go do a battleground, which is also daily quest instead of being you know uh, a standard thing. But then you get more XP from battlegrounds anyway, and then you go back to the regular style of content. Which is, you know, not not ideal. I think personally, it's just not it's not as engaging doing world content. If you've especially if you've done it before, whereas Torgas at least has the element of being different every time, being you know more fun overall because you are being challenged. You do have stuff to do. I think what Blizzard's maybe failing to understand with this yeah. is it's not that people want to level a character and do a few quests and a Torgast and yeah. a battleground and some dungeons, and some this, and some that, and some that, and then hit max level. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're able to do that, that's a good thing, because that's a more varied level experience. Of but for a lot of people, let's just say they're making a new character, and they really want that character to be like a battleground, like a PvP character. Yeah. Well, they will just want to spam BGs. Yep. You know, maybe do some other leveling things as they are spamming BGs, but that's really what they want to do. Yeah. This current way of doing this doesn't really support that. Now, it's a bit better for BGs because BGs give more, uh, but certainly, let's just say, you know, we're in a world where patch 9.2 adds more cosmetics to Torghast. People are really wanting to do more Torghast. They've got in a better place. Well, if somebody's like, oh yeah, cool. Well, I'm, I'm hyped to go do this in a, a Demon Hunter or some other character. I think for that person, getting that Soul Ash, getting that tower knowledge, especially while leveling by just spamming loads of Torghast yeah is probably just okay it's grand let let them do it yep let people um, play how they want to play which, which means they need the bare minimum of incentives there because the way i look at it is the same way i look at how ff14 has established stuff with the with the daily stuff from uh, roulettes you do your daily msq you do your daily leveling like you get an absolute ton of xp and then you go do less efficient activities after that mm-hmm but you always have that one daily thing that's really nice, but it's not like the difference is huge, but it feels good. So you get a massive amount of XP for your daily stuff. And then if you want to continue, you, you're you're slower, but not slow, which I think is the, the important part because the, the, if I were to give like feedback literally directly, if, yeah. you know, because uh, I think it was Josh Augustine who was asking for feedback. If, our, if, if he were in front of me, I would say, you know, on beta, it was nice because you got substantially more mob XP. Because I remember doing a couple runs on uh, Warlock oh, that yeah. was copied over at 50 and hit 51. I was like, oh, I didn't even realize. To be fair, Torghast knew I was having a lot more fun with it at the time because it was all completely new to me. But I still got 51 a couple runs. went, oh, wow, this would be really cool if this happened. But now in Threads of Fate, I feel like it's really constrained to the daily quests. Like, I for a start i don't want to have to finish two runs every day to get most of my xp maybe one's a bit more reasonable of like 30 minute timer or mm -hmm. you know 30 minutes for probably the average kind of run 25 minutes and it kind of boils down to how some days i have time for one some days I have time for some days i have time for 10 i don't feel accommodated to in any capacity as a player yeah. there because it is complete feast or famine i either do the daily for most of the xp or i get nothing and it's like, it's so much slower than other forms of leveling because all the bonus XP is accounted for in Threads of Fate. You go kill a load of mobs in Threads of Fate, it'll fill up the bar. You'll get a load of XP. So all of the XP is in the quests mm. as opposed to the mob XP, which means I can't just play Torghast all day long and get loads of XP. Or not even, like I can't, get, I can't play it all day and get a reasonable amount of XP because without the daily quest, I'd be getting, you know, at the speed I did it, I'd be getting 10% of a level an hour, which means, which means it would be, you know, from 48, that'd be, you know, was it, uh, 120 hours to get to level 60? Bit so, much. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I've kind of, I've thought about what I think would make it better overall to be very direct in feedback. I'll, I'll likely, you know, boil this down a little bit and tweet it at him later to kind of, you know, cause that's where he asked for it. But I think step one is to improve XP which is to make the daily quest grant a substantial amount of experience. To learn from like FF there and go, here's like a level, here's half a level, 75% yeah. of a level. They may do that because of the miscalculation, but it needs to be like massive. 
Like if some if someone's going to go out of their way to log into your game, you should maybe f make them feel a bit rewarded. Yeah, because you want daily active users. This will help if you give go do do run one of Torghast every day. You know, players will be happy. So that's like one thing, but they need to bump up mob XP and Torghast by maybe four or five, six times. I would say 10, but then that would mean you'd be leveled in 20 runs of Torghast. And even that seems reasonable to me. Like, honestly, like that is that is a decent amount of time. 20 runs of Torghast is more than enough time for you to be familiar with your class mechanics. And, if, and as far as an RPG sort of goes, that's the point of leveling, is to give you that run-up time. So that's yeah. that's basically what I what I would suggest. Right, you're, yeah, you're looking at sounds... you're looking at twenty five to fifty percent of a level for uh, clear, and then you're sorted. That that would be substantially more fun. It would be more rewarding. It would fit fit the criteria that I've been talking about, which is efficient but limited versus inefficient but unlimited. Yeah. So that is, if I had all Saturday to play, I'd feel good. If I could only do one or two runs every day from Monday to Friday. I'd also be making a ton of progress. So it fits around all permutations of my schedule and I constantly feel okay as a player accommodated to versus the current system where if I have a load of time, I don't want to... I, I'm disincentivized from doing it the way I wanted it, which is kind of the point. And then the second point is just let leveling Torghast actually replace some of the non-leveling Torghast. Yeah. Let yeah. the leveling Torghast replace Chorghast. Exactly, exactly. Because... Right now you get Soul Ash. You don't get any Soul Cinders, which is the new currency people actually want. Mm -hmm. So you hit 60 from leveling Torghast. You've got all the Soul Ash sorted out, or most of it. But, you know, <laughs> you'll still need weeks of Torghast to get Soul Cinders for Legendaries. Which you, you could say, well, you shouldn't be able to skip to, you know, 262 or whatever. But I sort of think maybe, <laughs> maybe you should be able to. If it's the current Legendary, especially if you look at how supply and demand will work will likely end up being, you know, you don't want people to spend hundreds of thousands of gold stepping up. Yeah. So that would be a solution to that. And then tar knowledge needs to go up because I got 16. I had to do two runs to buy the first rank of the first thing. And I don't see tar knowledge going up because you have no layer choice. So it's just me getting a tiddly bit of tar knowledge. I got, you know, I got a, uh, was it? 29 for doing two runs. To be fair, my last run was scuffed. I played like a complete idiot, but that was 29. And then I looked at the seasonal cap, 3,150, and I went, oh, yeah. I told, <laughs> fuck, that doesn't feel very good. So it's the kind of thing where I can't engage with Torghast below level 60 in the systematic way. I can engage with it play, like play-wise. Play I can literally play it and get some XP. But it's like, if you can improve the XP substantially, uh, let people have efficient but limited and inefficient but unlimited and then make it so if you do torque gas when you're leveling you don't have to do it as much later on through yeah. actual systems then you've given players more efficiency overall you've given them freedom and how to play and i imagine using myself as a basis they will be substantially happier for it. yeah sounds good Yep. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's do that. There's not much else to talk about yep. for the PDR feedback. It's yeah, essentially it's... that for leveling Torghast. Yep. So there we go. 